Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. On this video, I want to talk about relationships uh, and how some of you guys, you're wasting your years away trying to make stuff work. You're listening to the wrong people. And they're telling you to just work things out that ain't going to never work out. And I'm going to show you some stuff on this video. This is going to be a short one. But we're going to talk about this. So, a lot of guys, you basically keeping women around that would dump you in a heartbeat and try to cry it off to make they self still appear innocent as if you did them wrong or you did something wrong. Because a lot of women, let's be honest, no woman wants to be viewed as a 304. H-O-E, whatever you want to call it. So some women go to the extreme with it. They want people to look at them as virtuous and as a righteous woman and all these other things. So they'll do whatever it takes to make people believe that it was you that messed up the relationship when it was them all along. Sometimes it'd be their curiosity. Sometimes it'd be their desire for attention. A lot of people will say that they don't want attention, but they actually do, and it shows. People who don't need attention don't say things like, you don't, you don't, you're not affectionate, you don't give me no affection. By the fact that they saying that to any of y'all, that's proof that they basically want attention. And when they start saying that, most cases your relationship is done. Because they're going to always have some type of excuse. The things they don't like about you are going to increase. So it's just pretty much done. You might as well just uh, cut up your losses. Try to, if y'all got kids, try to negotiate. You know, you want to be there for your kids, man. But at the same time, a lot of guys need to strip that woman of her control and her power. And the way you do that, sometimes you got to break up. Sometimes you got to divorce. Because if you're dealing with things such as you arguing more than you having sex or you not having sex, anything that come with that is just more indications. Uh, stuff like emotional affairs, stuff like you find this stuff in her phone. She always talking about that dude at work. Dude, face it, man. Y'all be thinking, y'all watch too much TV, man. That's TV. That's like, I might listen to occasionally to some gangster rap, but I'm not gonna go out and do what they say. That's why that just shows you that you shouldn't be listening to it. Just like in a relationship, once you start seeing this stuff that I'm talking about, you're supposed to be, okay, decision time. Should I stay with her? Should I go? Y'all always trying to make bad stuff work. Don't you know the woman for you could be out there and you say, well, no relationship is perfect. And you're right. But you shouldn't be arguing every second. And you should be busting nuts all the time. And you shouldn't, everything shouldn't be one-sided. Like, that little, my money is her money and her money is her money. Dude, no guy should be in that type of situation. No guy should be in that situation. But millions are. So, she do things like, she went from being mad at you for even the, the, the slightest mention of fitness to now being on the fitness kick. Those, I'm telling you, if you had problems out of a chick when she was big and y'all was finna break up and leave, you already know once she get to the size where she gonna get the attention that she desires, it's a wrap. What are you waiting for? You're going to make it worse 
by sitting around and waiting. Like, a lot of y'all just need to move on, man. Like, it, the most high didn't create marriage for guys and women to be arguing and fighting. That wasn't the purpose of it. The purpose of it was to procreate. The purpose of it was to work together as a team. The most high is about covenant. But most of y'all ain't got no covenant. You with somebody that's always on something else. Don't follow your lead. Want you to follow what she say. Well, I don't think you should do that. I think you should do this. Why are you talking? I can't even trust you. And you can't trust a woman who is always in another direction. That's the woman that will be easy work for another dude, regardless of what she say. I know she's telling you, I would never do that. I'm not that type. I don't just give myself away. If she's giving you problems, then trust me. She'll give herself away. If she ain't did nothing in five months, ten months, two years, that dude is going to get it easy. I'm telling you. And you're going to be stuck with the bill. You're going to be stuck. You need to start negotiating. You need to be like, listen, I ain't paying no alimony, no child support. You know, I don't want to get into this back and forth thing about who messed up the relationship. I'll do this, 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 but I'm not doing that. Eliminate the possibility of family court. Because you... Dude, why should you become her slave over a decision that you made when she was different? When you made that decision, you wasn't thinking about breaking up. You was thinking about marrying and marriage. But the, the reason why it's not worth it and the reason why this family court thing is unfair is because they basically penalize guys for making a decision years before when the woman was different. She's not the one that you marry, but you still gotta pay. And then when you, if she, I'm telling you, these chicks do not, these kids, y'all kids, when y'all grown, y'all need to start hopping on y'all mother hills. Y'all give them some of these mothers too much credit when they made your childhood hard, wasting away the money going on dates and getting their nails done and getting BBLs that could have was supposed to be going to you. And they basically enslaved that dude. That dude couldn't do good financially because of that. Because he decided to marry somebody. That's not fair. That's why guys be telling y'all do not get married. Y'all better be careful with that Hafiz because he don't know how his is going to go. Dude, just talking, man. That's one of the things about people in the church sometimes. Not all the time. But I, I, I was in the church for many, many years. And that's one of the things I notice about church people is sometimes they talk too much about stuff that they don't even know what they're talking about. And that's what Hafiz was basically doing in his relationship or a relationship about his relationship in that debate with Coach Greg Adams. He had only been married for a year, dude. You, if any of y'all still listen to that guy and I'm not hating on him, you, you, you ain't got it. You ain't there yet. You ain't got the wisdom. You ain't got the savvy. You got a guy that's literally trying to debate another guy who been through it already, who was married for eight years. And he only been married one. It would be even worse if he tried to debate me because so mine. Let's see, 20, wait, 20, 24, 24 years. So what, what can you really tell me? I've seen all every angle. What can you really tell me? A lot of stuff I talk about from experience and from seeing other people. So stuff I saw with my own father, grandfathers. Stuff I saw with people that I used to work with, friends. I literally saw two of my buddies. I knew them. I, look, I grew up with them from kids we used to go swimming with our towel on our arm no shirt on 
to pay 25 cents. I knew them since we were young. One of my friends, I knew him since he was practically born. When he was maybe two. The other one, I, I knew him since we was like 10 years old. I went, I was out there, I ran with these dudes, man. I knew how these dudes got down with women. I knew how they were. I saw the change. Like, I wasn't around them that whole time. Because, you know, I got into the church. But I saw how they were. And then I saw them transform into men and do everything for their families, both of them. And it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. One of them even took his wife back. She got rid of him. She, she went her own way. He came back to, to Milwaukee. She came up here because he was doing good. And still, come on, man. Come on, man. No, you ain't messing with me on this topic. I saw cousins going through this, this marriage thing. Marrying the wrong woman. Woman ain't nowhere near fit for marriage. Everybody knew it. I, come on, man. My experience is too strong. It's too strong, man. I know dudes that they wife literally just refused to have sex with them. Just refused. Like, all right. He go to work. Girl at work all in his face. He end up annihilating her. And she end up getting pregnant. Now, I want to divorce you. <laughs> you did it. And he even said, this particular guy even said that she was trying to do stuff with him after the divorce. He was like, if you would have did this, guys, some guys do be candid now. Like, when we was in correction, when I was working at the detention center, a lot of time we had time to talk. The kids ain't always out. That's a red pill job. I learned a lot from that stuff, man. Just working with these women, I'm thinking like, if you like this at work, I can imagine what you're like at home. But these same women... It's all his fault. And remember, guys, remember, they're women. They're sugar and spice. Every, they carry babies. It's all your fault. Everything. No matter what she do, if Dill put his wing ding in her anus, still your fault. If she swallow his fluids... It's your fault. You wasn't affectionate enough. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. Her pulling her panties down, unsnapping her bra, going through the process, text, all this stuff, leading up to it, it's your fault. It's your fault. It's never her fault. The world is fair. Family court is great. It's your fault. And you argue with these women. How many of y'all have argued with a woman that you was once in love with or at least thought you would never lead with love? That, that ain't what relationships is about. You gonna find out the hard way. You watch too much TV, man. How many of y'all have argued with these women and listening to what they say? It's like they trying to blame everything on you. Let me show you some. Money problems can be solved. That's not a reason to divorce. That's a reason for two people to, to tunker down, hunker down, and do what needs to be done. It's, it's been some cases where the woman could have helped. But she didn't want to. She feels you're the man. You're responsible. 
what you are. But listen, we all know from living in the United States, and we don't even got to talk about the rest of the world, that things during your course of your life can take a turn for the worse, and sometimes things just don't work out. When things don't work out, you got to make adjustments. You can't be like, well, uh, you need to do this, this, this. Okay. What are you going to do? Because if you ain't going to do nothing, why am I listening to you? This is what guys go through, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. And and this is I can prove this right here. We're gonna make a video about this too. 90% of women who have college degrees file for divorce. Now, that other 10% probably is guys end up doing it on them because they won't. Women gotta learn how to respect a man because he's your man. Forget about your college education. Forget about the money you you making. Okay, if you chose to make money, then that's part of the household. That you shouldn't be disrespecting them. You shouldn't be trying to lead stuff, run stuff over some money. You trying to you trying to be the man because you make more than him. Okay, if that's how you feel, then you probably should go get somebody else then, or be by yourself. Because he, what, he, if he not a school guy, he got to go back to school to try to get a PhD. It's for you to be happy, you're the wrong woman for him. These women get disrespect. They come in with disrespect. They just, some of them just do a better job of hiding it because they be one kids. They be wanting to get married. But over time, you going to see it. You going to see it. And you think this is just a coincidence that 90% of women who are college educated file for divorces on their husbands? That's not a coincidence. That's very factual. And that tells us a lot. And then they wonder why ain't nobody messing with them. These dudes come to YouTube and watch my video, watch other guys' video, and they know you college educated. You pushing marriage. But they know that 90% of marriage to college-educated women end in divorce. They looking at you like you a waste of time. You say, well, I ain't like that. How many people say they ain't like that? How many women, church women, supposed to be saved, got viciously clapped and did some filthy stuff against their husband? You supposed to be loving God. Did you love him that night or those nights? You must have fell out of love with him, too. A lot of time they'll quit on God, too. And they quit on God. That's automatic divorce. If you a believing man and your wife quit on God, you are asking for trouble trying to stay with her. It's just a matter of time. She going to do something crazy. Very crazy. She going to attack you. Or she going to go out there and, and get in a threesome with two men. She going to do something crazy. If she give up on God. This why is this why you listen, man, you can't be so sympathetic sometimes when you see your woman going crazy. You got to get up out of there, man. And you need to take them kids, which cause she have been. A, some of these women been a did something to them. Trying to get back at you. Then step show, sideshow Bob come in. Sideshow Bob come in. He picking with your kids. You say something to him like, you better leave my kids alone. Now they got a restraining order on you. This stuff ain't fair. Do not put yourself through this, man. Any of y'all women on YouTube that still want to get married. You still want to get married, so you disagreeing with me, even though you you some of these things I'm talking about, you just hide. I got smoke for y'all. I can't wait to start doing these lives, man. 
I can't wait because people is delusional. Okay, who gonna marry Christian Rock? Nothing against her. I don't know her like that, but I've seen what she does. And it's not an act, man. That's, you can tell that's real. She disrespecting Sharp. Like, what's going to happen? Him and Blueface going to get into it? That stuff is crazy, man. But these women, yeah, and I'm going to close right here. These women, basically, they'll turn against you. But then when you be like, all right, that's cool. We can get a divorce. Now they want to penalize you for not letting them make your life more miserable. This stuff ain't fair. Don't go through it. If you marry, if you think somebody good enough to marry, don't get no marriage license and get an agreement ahead of time that she recognizes that there will be no court appearances, no child support, no alimony if the relationship goes bad and get it signed and say this is final caps lock cause then that way if she changed she be like well we still she still try to get you to go to court you got the copy of this you don't have to go to no court and if they if she agrees to that and still try to get you I wouldn't give her nothing man I wouldn't pay nothing and every time they try to get you try to take your driver's license or your guns or whatever else show them that paperwork she said, well, don't you trust me? No, I don't, and I shouldn't. Stop trusting these 304s, man. And all of them might not even be 304. It might be five or six of them today. So, you know, we got more videos to come. Stay tuned. This is The Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel.